A tornado cash crackdown by Treasury puts honest crypto investors at risk of criminal exposure. This is wild. The Treasury Department crackdown on tornado cash is meant to stop criminals, but a lot of ordinary crypto investors with honest intentions are now at risk. Every U.S. person is going to have to be very careful about transacting with tornado cash, said Ari Ramborg, head of legal and government affairs at research firm TRM Labs in an interview. Sanctions are strict. Tornado cash is used by some people as a legitimate way to protect their privacy and the still nascent crypto market. When a buyer pays for something using a crypto wallet, the recipient of the transfer has the address to the purchaser's public crypto wallet. Using a mixing service like Tornado Cash masks those details by anonymizing the funds and concealing the identity of the buyer. There's a need for solutions that can help you cover your tracks even when you're not doing anything illicit. In blacklisting Tornado Cash on Thursday, the Treasury Department said it was going after criminals who used the service to launder more than $7 billion worth of virtual currency since it launched in 2019. Thank you, Axie Infinity. The $600 million dollars from Axie Infinity that went through there is what caught their eye and why they did this. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Even though the goal of these sanctions by the Treasury Office for an asset control is to block a state like North Korea from converting illicit crypto funds into more usable traditional currencies to fund weapons proliferation, cryptocurrency wallet addresses on its designated nationals list targeting the address of smart contract that enables people to maintain their own personal privacy. Targeting a piece of software that is fundamentally different. Now you're not targeting a particular person who's a known terrorist or member of any enemy state. You're targeting a piece of software that exists on a peer-to-peer -peer network on the internet. They don't know that. They're too old to know that. That's the problem. They don't understand that. It's a nuclear option. He said it's more commonly used to identify a supporter of terrorism or a leader in an enemy state. I mean, I kind of understand what is Tornado Cash really used for other than to, like, cover up your tracks and transactions, and why would you need to do that? I guess there are reasons where you need to, like, hide your wealth and privacy is a thing and nobody should be able to track you but and that's kind of the world you live in the, the, those are the two different sides there it's like do you want it do you want a world where everything's private and it's easier for people to scam people and use funds to do bad things or get away with crimes or do you have that centralized tracking so that you're able to stop things like that and do some have some repercussions for people that commit crimes and that's kind of really tough you know circle the firm behind the u.s dollar peg stablecoin has reportedly frozen about 75 5,000 in USDC that was connected to Tornado. Coinbase will also have to block its customers from sending funds to Tornado Cash given the new ground rules for the Treasury. Problem for crypto users looking for an alternative mixing service is there's no others that have the scale of Tornado Cash which makes it difficult to ensure the identity is protected. If nobody's using them and it's very easy to overcome the mix and trace through them. You need a large pot of liquidity there in order for it to be ineffective as a mixer and it takes time to gather that liquidity and get that usage going. Well, but if everybody switches to a new mixer then doesn't that just get going just like tornado cash you know like everybody switches over because tornado cash is hot right now as they said if tornado cash is super hot and you can't be seen with tornado cash and you have to go to some other mu mixing service everybody's gonna move over and you're gonna get the liquidity you need i don't know it's a little bit of a, a whack-a-mole there right are we just playing whack-a-mole with tornado cash is it going to help them track everything or now are they gonna have to learn some new mixing service uh, games are going to get away with longer would they have been better off just trying to master tornado and figure out deposits and withdrawals comment down below